Hi, this is EnviroCams. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the wireless transmitter receiver pairs to utilize more than one camera. So you unbox the unit, you'll remove this panel and refer to page 3 on how to properly configure your dip switches. The AP that's going to go at the NVR side in the book is called a transmitter, but that doesn't make much sense. So to keep things simple, we're going to call this the receiver. So, you will configure the dip switches accordingly. This one's already been set. Once you have this mounted, you just take a Cat5 cable from an available channel off of your NVR, plug it in to either of these two ports. It doesn't matter. This is plugged in. You'll see the lights light up. The unit will begin to boot. Your transmitter that will go out where your cameras connect, you see here, you'll configure the dip switches as you see here in figure one. If you have multiple transmitters, just follow the dip switch patterns as you see there. If you have multiple cameras, you'll be utilizing an outdoor PoE switch. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use this off-the-shelf Buffalo PoE injector switch. If you're doing three or less cameras, you of course plug in your, your transmitter and then just connect it to one of the PoE ports to your outdoor switch. As I said before, if you're doing three or less cameras, you simply connect one end to your camera, the other end into the switch. And then go to your NVR and configure it accordingly. If you're going to run four cameras, this is where you'll need the PoE injector that is supplied with your unit. If you have four cameras, you'll use the PoE injector to power the transmitter. Your fourth camera, of course, goes into the PoE port on the switch. Then you just take a jumper cable from the non-powered LAN port on the PoE switch and then plug it into the non-powered LAN port on the individual PoE injector. If you have any questions with this basic setup, feel free to give us a call.